Okay, so these are the past paper questions of cell structure from year 2017, 18, 19, and 20. So, we start with Let's start with these questions. Okay, the first question. The photomicrograph shows the ultrastructure of part of a cell. Okay, actually the photomicrograph is missing, so forget about this question. Let's start. Which structures are found in typical eukaryotic cells? What do you think which structures are found in typical eukaryotic cells? Can you tell me? Typical eukaryotic cells. Do you think they have 70th ribosome? Do you think they have 80th? Do you think they have linear DNA? Do you think they have circular DNA? Which structures are present in them? One and four. One and four. Eukaryotic cell. They have. You think that they have one and they have four? And they don't the have ADN, cell. ribosome, and linear DNA? No, no, no. Two. Uh, yes, two and three. Two and three. So you think that they have... ADN, ribosome, and uh, Very good. But uh, what about the plant and animal cells having chloroplast and mitochondria? Don't you know and don't you think that mitochondria and chloroplast have 70th ribosome in circular DNA? So don't you think that within the cell, within their chloroplast and mitochondria, they also have 70th ribosome in circular DNA? Yes, so this is A. All four are present in eukaryotic cell. Now make it very clear that prokaryotes have 70th ribosome and circular DNA. Eukaryotes have 80th ribosome and they have linear DNA. And along with this, in their cytoplasm, they have 80th ribosome and linear DNA. But, uh, and in their, their nu nucleus, they have linear DNA. But along with that, in eukaryotes, if it's a plant cell and if they have chloroplast, so they do have, because the chloroplast has circular DNA, so they do have circular DNA and they do have 70S ribosome. And in their mitochondria, they do have circular DNA and they do have 70S ribosome. So they do have these things. So if we talk about eukaryotes, they have all 80s ribosome, 70s ribosome within their chloroplast and mitochondria because mitochondria is present in both plant and animal cells. Chloroplast is only in plant cells. And if it is their nucleus, they have linear DNA. If it's their plant or animal cell, whatever, they have uh, circular DNA as well. So when we talk about eukaryotic cells, they have all the four present. So A is the correct option. Is this thing clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what's the definition of resolution of a light microscope? Which one is the best suitable definition of resolution? Uh, ma'am, option C. Which one? Option C. Very good, excellent. The minimum distance that allows two objects to be viewed as separate so that you can resolve them as two separate things that they don't merge and they don't overlap over each other. Excellent. Then the electron micrograph shows a type of virus at magnification this much. Magnification is here. Um, what's the length of the virus? So when they are asking about the length, that is actually actual length. Actual length. So what are you going to do? You will be for using the same formula. Magnification is equals to image over actual. And magnification is given to you. You have to find out the actual length. So you're going to switch the formula this way that A is equals to I over M. Over here, image you are going to measure because they are talking about the um, length. So you're going to put your ruler here. And till this point, you are going to measure the length of this virus. And whatever the uh, calc uh, reading would be, let's suppose it's nine centimeters, just a supposition. You will do it yourself. You can do it afterwards. 
I'm just telling you the method that you're going to measure this line because that would be your image. You will measure it. Let's suppose it is nine centimeters. Just a supposition. It's nine centimeters, and you can see that your answer is in nanometers. So you are going to multiply this nine to ten thousand to bring your answer to micrometers first. Jo bhi whatever the answer would be, that would be now in my micrometers. That would be ninety. micrometer and if you want to further convert it into nanometer then you can further multiply it with another 1000 because nano and micro are related this way that is 10 to power 6 meters is equals to micrometer 10 to power minus 9 meters is equals to uh, nanometer so they are related in thousand related with thousand so you will multiply this 90000 again with another 1000 to bring the value to nanometers whatever the answer would be you will write it over here as image because that is your image you will write it here as your image whatever you get the answer from here and then magnification is already given that is 30000 you will calculate it and you will get the answer of this actual length of this wire Next to this is, yeah, I wanted to just tell you the method. So uh, I think I hope the method is clear to you. Okay. Next is which row correctly shows a feature of a cell structure? This you have to tell me. Site of protein synthesis and makes lysosome. Which one do you think is making lysosome? Which one do you think is uh, the site of protein synthesis? Yeah, option B, man. Option B. Ribosome is the site of protein synthesis. Though rough endoplasmic reticulum is also the site of protein synthesis, but rough uh, ribosomes are on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, जब भी site of protein synthesis की बात करते हैं, तो best is ribosomes is is always. ठीक है ना? आपने B का mm -hmm. excellent and ribosomes Golgi बनाते हैं. अब ये फिर वही वाला question आ गया और आप देखें कि ये 2019 से मैंने उठाया हुआ है तो कितने पुराने साल से इस तरह के questions आ रहे हैं. and i hope you can do it let's do it together uh, four students were but i want you instead of you do it i want you uh, instead of i discuss it with you i want you to do it yourself because we just discussed uh, one question like this in the previous class so four students were okay. asked to match the function with the appearance of some cell structure in an animal cell okay this is only about animal cell the functions are listed by a number number 1 number 1 is organizes microtubules to produce the spindle during cell division so which one helps in cell, producing spindle during cell division you tell me i can write spindles kon banata hai cell division se pehle well thank you shabash centrioles okay synthesis of polypeptides koi protein synthesis synthesis uh, of polypeptides yes ribosome shabash polypeptides are proteins na uh, packing yes, of hydrolytic enzyme that will remain in the cell uh, lysosome excellent now uh, we have to match them with their uh, appearance the so membranes which surround and enclose inner cavity that is the description of which structure inner cavity smooth and fluffy membrane which surround and enclose inner cavity we discussed it that is always a description of smooth endoplasmic reticulum membranous structure hai which surrounds cavities so that's smooth endoplasmic reticulum non membrane bound spherical structures lysosome excellent a double membrane with many pores uh, nuclear excellent non membrane bound cylindrical structures centrioles uh, Excellent, and uh, membrane bound sacs arranged at flattened stack. So this this is the description of which organelle. Good. 
Golgi apparatus. And actually, here packaging of hydrolytic enzymes is also done by Golgi apparatus. Yes, they settle in lysosomes. Hydrolytic enzymes are inside the lysosome. But what is packaging those lysos uh, hydrolytic enzymes within the lysosome? Golgi. Okay, so can you match the structures now? One with Y. Two with W. And three with Z. So one by two W three Z. Answer is C. Next is the features of some cells and cell structures that make ATP are listed. Okay, which make ATP. Uh, it has outer boundary membrane and folded folded inner membrane. Which structure looks like you having outer membrane and inner folded membrane? Mitochondria. Excellent. This is mitochondria. Then has peptidoglycan cell wall outside and outer boundary membrane. Peptidoglycan cell wall. Mm. Which, which organelle has or which sorry which organism has peptidoglycan cell wall? Peptidoglycan. Where did you study the cell wall? Usually the cell wall is made up of cellulose. But what about the prokaryotic cell wall? Peptidoglycan se bani hoti hai na uski cell wall. Murine called as murine. You forgot it? Has a double boundary membrane and stacks of inner membrane. Double membrane hai and stacks of inner membrane hai. Ye inner membraneous stacks kis mein hoti hai? Pura jo ek membraneous network hota hai kis uh, organel ke andar hota hai? Chloroplast having hyalipoid membrane. Okay, so which row identifies these components? Let's see what the question is. Uh, one is after you have already identified one as mitochondria, B as bacteria, prokaryote, or T as chloroplast. So one is mitochondria, B, two is bacteria, three is chloroplast, D is the answer. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you're going to tell me the answer to this. Mitochondria are thought to have evolved from prokaryotic cells that were infested by an ancestral cell. Which feature have these prokaryotes lost during their evolution into mitochondria? If a prokaryote has evolved into a mitochondria, which feature do they uh, did they lose? Uh, option A. It is for sure A because prokaryotes have a cell wall. Mitochondria do not have a cell wall. Circular chromosome mm. is present in both. So no point of saying this that it has been lost. Internal membranes, they both have internal membranes. Uh, no, internal membranes are present absent in both. Neither they are present in prokaryotes. They are talking about actually thylakoid membranes. So they do both do not have thylakoid membranes. Neither the prokaryote has thylakoid membranes nor mitochondria has. So they both do not have internal membranes. Then ribosomes. Prokaryotes also have ribosomes and my mitochondria also has ribosomes. So they both have ribosomes. So they have not lost ribosomes either. So it's the cell wall which is being lost when they have evolved from prokaryotes to mitochondria. A student was given a photomicrograph. Photomicrograph is the uh, are the images taken from a light microscope. That's why they are called as photomicrographs. Images taken from light microscope. And if you talk about uh, electron uh, microscopes images, they are called as electron micrographs. The ultra structure of the um, cells and plants and animal cells. They are either called as ultra structure or they are called as electron micrographs. This is called as photomicrograph of a cell. So, uh, was a uh, student was given a photomicrograph of a cell and told the magnification of the image. Okay, magnification is being to, uh, given to the uh, student. The student was asked to calculate the actual size of the cell. Which row in the table explains how to do this? 
we have just discussed this and we just did this question such type of a question previously formula would be this but the student is going to make the formula this way going to switch the formula this way is going to first calculate the image measurement will multiply it with um, thousand to convert the measurement from milli to micro if it's in centimeter multiply with four ten thousand to convert it into micrometer and magnification is given so let's see measure the image in centimeter or millimeter theek hai measure the pehle to wo let's suppose ki he is measuring in millimeters so if he is measuring the image in millimeters is going to multiply it with thousand so which one is thousand this one is thousand that is one plus four one to ten plus three is thousand so it's going to measure in millimeter multiply it with thousand and we'll put the value over here as i over m to find out the actual length see the answer okay whenever you measure the size of your image in millimeter you multiply it with thousand to bring it to micrometer and whenever you measure the size in centimeter you multiply it to 10000 to bring your me measurement you reading in micrometer so the millimeter mein kar rahe hain to 10 to 1000 se multiply karenge centimeter mein kar rahe hain to 10000 se multiply karenge formula aapka wohi hai a is equals to i over m m given hai i nikal rahe ho measure kar lo multiply by 1000 kar lo to aapke paas image aa jayega aapka theek hai now i want you to do this yourself the electron micrograph ab this is the electron micrograph taken from electron microscope <coughs> shows part of a eukaryotic cell which cell structure is site of protein synthesis which one do you think is the site of protein synthesis can you recognize these structures can you tell me what is this a b C and D, and where does protein? Where what is the site of protein synthesis? Ribosome, है ना? So which one is the ribosome over here? What is this C? What is this C? Can you see cylindrical structure? What is this? This is cylindrical. These are cylindrical structure. Centriole. Okay, very good, excellent. Centriole. What is this D? Man. What is this D? Let's see the polar edges and the flattened. Golgi apparatus. Yeah, Golgi apparatus. You should be able to recognize the structures and their functions by now. Okay. And these cylindrical okay. and uh, uh, I uh, you said that this is uh, these are. Um, chloroplast but this is not chloroplast because chloroplasts are uh, a bit oval and they have membranous network and these are cylindrical and they are right at right angle to each other that's why uh, they are centrioles these tiny ones are ribosomes and these seem to be ribosomes like yeah So, which one is the site of protein synthesis? Uh, B option B. Excellent. Eleven. Some stains can be. Some stains can be used to identify cell structures in living cells. A dilute solution of one stain causes the whole cell to appear blue. The blue color rapidly disappears in most cell structures. Those cell structures that release energy stay blue. The, uh, this is the most important line. The cell structures which release energy, they stay blue. The other will become colorless soon. Which type of cell structure is like likely to stay blue? Of course, which are going to make ATP, they will stay blue. So, what? Which one do you think makes ATP and will stay blue? Uh, mitochondria. Excellent. It will make ATP. It will make energy and will stay blue. A molecule of carbon dioxide is in the center of a mitochondria. Assuming there are no other cell structure in its path, how many phospholipid bilayer? How many phospholipid layers 
will the carbon dioxide molecule have to pass through in order to leave the cell? Molecule of carbon dioxide is in the center of mitochondria. Now, let's like, look, look at the structure. This is mitochondria, outer membrane, inner membrane, which is convenated. And here is the molecule of carbon dioxide. And uh, assuming there are no other cell structures in its path, there's no other cell structure. How many phospholipid layers will the carbon dioxide molecule have to pass through in order to leave the cell? In order to leave the cell. So this is mitochondria. On outside, there will be cell membrane as well. And thus, this carbon dioxide has to come here, leave the cell. That is, it has to come outside the cell. So this carbon dioxide is going to cross this membrane. It is going to cross this membrane. It is going to cross this membrane. And you know, each membrane is a phospholipid bilayer, having two layers of phospholipid. If I talk about this membrane, it's like this one layer of phospholipids and the other one inverted over it. It's like this, no? Phosphate heads and fatty acid tails. This is a phospholipid bilayer. So these are two layers. So two layers here. Again, this outer membrane made up of a phospholipid bilayer. Two layers here. And then crossing the cytoplasm and reaching the cell membrane and crossing the cell membrane. Two layers here. Phospholipid bilayer. Two layers here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Which row identifies the type of ribosome found in each of the different structures? And I think you can do it yourself easily. Please do it. Option B. Excellent. Chloroplast has 70S, cyto yeah, eukaryote has 80, prokaryote has 70, mitochondria has 70. Then uh, fifth, uh, 14, which statement about resolution and magnification are correct? Yes, tell me. My option A. Excellent. This is the definition of resolution. This is the definition of magnification. The, the ability to distinguish between two separate objects that are very close together and you can see them separately. So it means resolution. And the number of times larger an image is than its actual, act, uh, more than its actual size is magnification. Uh, an eyepiece reticule has a scale 100 divisions. A scale micrometer has a scale with 50 divisions. Okay each of which is 0 0.04 millimeter apart. Using a 40 times magnification of the objective lens, the whole length of this image stage micrometer scale lines up with 15 divisions. The whole length of this stage micrometer, so the whole length of this stage micrometer lines up with 15 eyepiece. 15 eyepiece division. Eyepiece is 15. Stage scales whole length and having it means stage scale having 50 divisions. See, it is saying that a stage micrometer has a scale with 50 divisions, each of which is 0 0.04 millimeter apart. So 50 of stage are equal to equal to 15 of IPs at 40 magnification, and in those uh, 50. Each is equal to 0. Point, that's what over, written over here, 0. 0.04. So what is the actual length of 100 division scale of the IPs reticule? 15 divisions are equal to 50 state scale. We are going to do it this way. The IP is equal to state scale. So 15 IP divisions are equal to 50 state scale. So 100 would be equal to how many? We're going to cross multiply it. Hundred into fifty divided by fifteen is going to give you the answer of hundred divisions equal to how many state scale? And uh, when you will do it, if you will calculate it, whatever the answer would be, you will multiply it with this zero point. 
zero four millimeter. That is the measurement of each division. So whatever the answer is, you can calculate it and then multiply it with zero point zero four millimeter. And when you will do it, you will get the answer to this question. Okay, I think this much questions are enough for today. We will be discussing uh, from uh, from sixteen onward in the next class, inshallah. I hope these fifteen questions are clear to you. Are these clear? Is it clear yes, to you? Okay, so in the next class, we'll be discussing the next. Uh, um, there are about fourteen more questions left, so we'll be discussing the next fourteen questions in the next class. And uh, inshallah, we'll be keep on revising the past five questions this way so that your concepts will be clear. And you keep on revising the topic. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.